We want to acknowledge the fact that uh, the coalition government uh, has uh, actually put in this base for the workers. Uh, we are happy that, you know, had it not been the, um, the, the, the coalition government's um, uh, uh, promotion of workers' rights uh, in this country, uh, we would not have been able to achieve what we have achieved today. Right. Actually, we were pushed uh, uh, into this big struggle uh, in uh, bringing back, you know, our collective bargaining rights. Right. right. Since after 2011, after the decree, this employer, FEA, now EFL, has made our union, you know, run around. And uh, we now feel much comfortable uh, uh, with the change of the government. A uh, lot of things are now falling in place for the workers. That uh, the union that I represent, we have, uh, you know, uh, made a lot of success. And um, in this struggle, had it not been, of course, uh, for the Labour Ministry, the Minister himself, uh, the PS, uh, and uh, the Labour team itself, we would not have been able to achieve this. I think our union has set up a, uh, a base, a tripartite base today, where the, the employer, the union, uh, and the government was uh, involved in settling this. I mean, this is a true reflection of good faith bargaining. Right. Earlier, the employer was running away from, uh, you know, entering into good faith bargaining. They would come, play around on the table and not sign an agreement. Today, we have a signed document. This same employer, over the years, must have, we must probably, if I recall, good 10 to 12 years, you know, they kept making us, you know, come on the table coming too close to an agreement and not wanting to sign. So that's the difference that it made today, had it not been for the uh, you know, assistance of uh, the uh, Labour Ministry uh, and its people, including Minister PSF himself and, uh, and the officers, we would not have been able to achieve. There's been a lot of assistance. So I think we have set up a, a good uh, base, the benchmark.